Live on location at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary, their Pembroke location. Dave Porteous is our first guest up here to tell us about this from President's Choice. You guys have a very interesting program. Tell us about it. What's it called? Yeah, it's our President's uh, Choice Garden uh, program where we have a long-standing relationship with the Boys and Girls Club. And we've been doing it for several years now where we uh, come to uh, a place uh, in the community where we try to beautify it with uh, flowers, plants, and things like that. Now, you know, President's Choice, uh, we know the brand coast to coast, and uh, we love what you guys do. You could spread, you know, your goodwill throughout the uh, well, several sections of the city. Yep. Why is it important to pair with Boys and Girls Clubs? Uh, why is that important to your organization? Well, I think it's always great to give back to the community, especially with the children in the community. And it's, it's nice for them to have a great place to play, and it looks beautiful and things like that. You and your crew, not just uh, lending product, but getting your hands dirty. Like, yeah. this is something where it's not just like, okay, what do you need? You guys really, at, at a grassroots level, get involved. Yes, absolutely. And I brought several members of uh, my uh, team down today uh, to help with all the children. And uh, we're here to uh, plant all the plants. They're going to be coming out. We're going to get to the nuts and bolts, but more than anything, to the fertilizer and soil coming up in a bit. And uh, you guys are all weather. Like, if it was raining, you'd still be here. Absolutely. We'd be here. Absolutely. Okay, good stuff there, David. I'm going to move over to Cheyenne now. Cheyenne Bodner with us, uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. And you uh, mentioning that several years this has happened. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to the kids to take part in a program like this? Yeah, I think it's great. And I think um, with uh, President Tro President's Choice coming in and doing the gardens for us today, um, it gives the kids a little bit of ownership and um, sense of community a little bit more. And um, uh, they can take a little bit more ownership of the, just making it nice around here. And these kids, a lot of them might have absolutely zero experience mm -hmm. when it comes to the green thumb. Yeah. That's got to be cool to be with them and, uh, you know, their first experience with Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary and uh, President's Choice. Yeah, a lot of the kids are really excited, not really used to uh, gardening. A lot of the staff don't know too much about gardening either, so we're really excited to learn and take part in this. And, um, yeah, just get to know more about the plants and partner with uh, President's Choice. And this particular facility, you've got about 50 or, or 60 feet of, of, of land to do. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity uh, because you guys do have a perfect facility for it. Yeah, it's great. Um, we got lots of garden space, and so we're really excited to have it spruced up. It's been sitting just kind of dead a little bit over the last couple years. So, it, uh, yeah, it'll be great to have it all spruced up for sure going to be coming to life in a bit down here live. It is very cool and the kids will be out here uh, working this soil in a few minutes time, well probably in the next hour or so but we're going to get things growing in a few minutes. Joe? Jack Rosendahl with us now and Jack here with DeVry, DeVry Greenhouses. Let's talk about it because we've talked about the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary and Pembroke here. President's Choice, My Garden Program. Oh, you guys fit in because you've partnered with President's Choice for, for a number of years, right? That's right. We've been uh, with uh, President's Choice for over 28 years with locations here in Alberta and also in BC. Okay, so you help them out with their product that we all love to use and using it this morning. You've brought out a whole bunch of great products and you said you got a lot to cover. So I'll let you talk quickly. What did you bring out here for a garden of uh, this size and this style? Um, because this area is full sun, we have a tremendous amount of great annuals, lots of color, lots of pup and also lots of great perennials here and some herbs and vegetables. So maybe what we'll do is we'll focus here on some of the caliber coas, um, some brand new ones, exclusives, um, star shaped. Uh, beautiful. Um, there's also one called chameleon that will change color uh, throughout the season. That's huge. That's pretty cool to watch that as uh, the fruits of your labor, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what we also have here is a beautiful perennial bed um, that will come back every year. Um, there's something very exciting this year, especially on the release of this year's 150th celebration for Canada. It's this rose shield. It's very hardy for the Calgary climate. It's also root res uh, disease resistant. Um, it's one of the best roses you'll find and it's, it's a must have for this year. Resiliency is key. Yeah, and of course, if you are, sometimes perennials don't have a lot of color. That Campanula is a soft perennial. That's amazing color. It's a must have in any garden. Passionate about it. And in your hand here, I want to talk, to, uh, talk about this as we go, before we go further. This is important to you as far as uh, the uh, uh, sustainability. Yes. President's Choice is one of those uh, companies that has done a tremendous job at recycling. It says on their pots, all the pots are recycled, they're brought back to the growers. We will sort them, we will compact them, and bring them back to the recycling company that will make the pots again for next year. So this is one of the true closed loop recycling programs in Canada. That's very cool. And now you move on down here and you see the uh, kids doing their work with uh, some of the volunteers helping out. 
it's important in, from your standpoint to get those products that kids and uh, gardeners with no experience uh, can have success with when you look at a project like this, I guess. That's right. C getting kids involved is critical for gardening. And there's so many healthy benefits of gardening. Um, gardening is not only great for some vitamin D, it's a great exercise, much nicer than running on a treadmill. Um, it's, it's, it's also one of those, it's proven to uh, be a stress reliever. And also, if you look at the herb and vegetable garden here, if you have your own herbs and vegetables, there's nothing like having picking your own vine ripened tomato and eating it fresh. Talk about nutrition. Talk about nutrition and talk about more down here at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. Thank you very much, Jack. More down here, and we'll find out, uh, we'll take a look at some of the more of the progress coming up more in a bit there. Jill? A president's Choice, my garden, doing some great work uh, pairing up with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. Cheyenne Bodnar with us once again. And, and Cheyenne, I want to touch base that you guys aren't always gardening. Uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary does a lot of different activities. You have a lot of experience as well with them. I've been with them for a number of years. How would you describe it to somebody who, who maybe you met um, at a party or uh, just uh, on the street and said, oh, what is Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary? What do you do? Mm -hmm. um, that's a pretty loaded question. We do quite a bit around yeah. the city. Um, clubs, that, for example, we do after school and evening programs for grades one to six. Um, and then some clubs even do teen programs. And so we uh, focus on social emotional learning. Uh, so we have programs such as gardening. We have cooking programs. We have recreational programs. We have cr uh, creative programs. So it's kind of fits all the needs of all the kids and what uh, their, their interests and what they like to do. Speaking of kids, you were a kid at one point and you took part in Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. And uh, so for you, it must be, it was such a, a great environment that you mm -hmm. choose to stick, stick your time out now. Yeah, that's right. I uh, grew up coming to Boys and Girls Club. I was in it since I was in grade five. And so all the way up until I was 18, 19. Um, and so I yeah, lots of great opportunities for kids and I just love it and we do great and I totally believe in the work that we do and so yeah I wanted to give back and so what better way than to work for the agency that kind of helped me through my childhood so absolutely President's Choice giving back in DeVry greenhouses as well. Jack Rosendahl, once again, and uh, you've got uh, something you want to highlight here that the kids are getting involved with this morning and that you think is important for the kids and the youth out there. Yes, for all these kids vegetables herbs one of the easiest things here's a nice combo of three vegetables three strawberries one tastes like a pineapple one like a raspberry and one like a regular strawberry all in one little package easy you can see how the kids planted a beautiful garden anybody can do it you can have your own little uh, garden just have a bunch of baskets put in any herbs and vegetables and you're done for the season. And the beauty of the strawberries is I think it would really uh, enhance the experience for the kids because not only do they put it in the ground, watch it grow, but then they get to taste it. That must be something really cool. It's, it's so rewarding seeing kids pick their own strawberry. They plant it and it's theirs and they're like, mom, look, or the kid, the mom will not see any because the, the kids will always <laughs> take it. What happened to those strawberries? They must not have come up. Thank you very much, Jack. More down here live in Penbrook at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. I'm digging in. Well, yeah, I'm basically observing because the kids have really done the work out here. As with Dave Porteous, President's Choice, My Garden. Mentioning earlier, you guys thought it was so important to, to team up uh, with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. The results are outstanding. We're going to take a, a closer look and uh, talk to the kids in a second. But, you know, it's interesting because it's been all this week on Breakfast Television, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Mother's Day. And you, moms are sometimes hard to buy for. Absolutely. you got the perfect solution. I do. Um, with Mother's Day coming up, uh, we have some absolutely gorgeous baskets in our store. And our garden centers are all set up throughout the city at each superstore. And our hours are from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So please come down to Superstore and uh, take a look at uh, all the flowers that we have and all of our hard goods as well. It's a one-stop shopping. Well, you know what? Maybe you can help mom out. We're seeing the kids, and they've had some great success. Are you impressed? Because we were a little concerned. Oh, would they be able to finish the garden in time this morning? I'll tell you, Zip Zop Wop and the uh, volunteers have helped out as well. Done. Yes. I want to thank everyone here today, the volunteers from uh, my superstore, 1546 in Mackenzie, and the children in Cheyenne for just uh, making us feel so comfortable in here today. And uh, this is absolutely awesome to get everyone together and to make something such a, something so beautiful. And the kids themselves. I'm going to go uh, see how they've done. Thank you very yes. much, Dave. And the Superstore Angels. What was your, What's your name, sir? George. George, what was your favorite part of the gardening this morning? I'm going to have to say when I'm planting the plants. Planting the plants, putting them in the ground. I'll let you get back at it. And what is your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. It uh, looks like you guys have done a lot of work here. Your favorite part was? 
Planting. Planting. They make it easy. It's just planting. And how about you? What's your name? Dylan. Dylan. It looks like you're working on a flower right there or a plant. Are you having fun? Has it been hard or has it been fun? Mm, hard. It's been hard. He's keeping his head down and finishing. And what's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, do you have a favorite plant here that you've been working on this morning? No. No, just everything. I like it. She's all about the whole garden as a, as a whole, not just one individual piece. Again, live down here at Penbrook, and it is the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary partnering with President's Choice, My Garden. Lots of fun, John.